Well, hello everybody. Happy Foxy Friday. Well, someone commented once about how many pairs of boots. Yeah, that's a good idea, Heidi. Pick your nose on camera. Um, I was scratching, it did not go inside. It's like the Seinfeld episode, right? Just don't laugh at me. <laughs> Sorry. Should I start over? <laughs> It was a really good chapter in this book. It was just funny. That's a funny book you're reading. Yeah. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so someone commented once about how many different pairs of boots I have, and someone else commented about, you seem most comfortable in boots. And I said, yeah, I think that may be true. Um, so today's video is about boots. And this is my latest pair of boots, and the most expensive ones I've ever bought. Um, they're by Corral, which is a great Western brand. Um, full price, they're like $300. I didn't pay full price for them, but I still paid way more than anything else I've ever bought. Um, they were secondhand, so it's not like I paid 10% off or whatever. Anyway, they're super nice leather on the inside, on the outside, and of course these are really glittery and sparkly, and as you can tell, I'm gonna be wearing them out dancing. Um, that's the plan anyway. And so I've been trying to break them in, dancing in the, in the bedroom. Um, because they are such nice leather, they, you kind of have to wear them several times before they're really comfortable. Anyway, this is pair number one. And of course my go-go boots. I got these really cheap, but they're like perfect for my cheerleader outfit. So what's really interesting is after I found these boots and came up with this Charger Girl uniform, I wore it every time I'd watched the Chargers last year. And they won every single time this year, every game. One of my favorites is the shorter skirt with the ankle boots, like the tan ankle boots. I think they kind of elongate the leg and kind of make you look taller without having to wear high heels. I've got like two pairs of these that are almost the same. This is kind of more of a Western style. And this pair is more fashion style. Kind of a taller heel. These are really comfortable, like with a pair of jeans as well. Of course, I got these more of as a gimmick. Kind of these red, white, and blue stars and stripes. I guess those stripes, just stars. Just kind of a fun, patriotic look. These are some of the oldest boots that I have. I saw these in the mall one time when I was shopping with my family and I just had to go back later and get them. It was back when I was nervous about doing anything in public and I went back later in guy mode and, and bought these boots. It was like the first thing I bought in guy mode. One of the first things. But these heels are like super narrow stiletto heels so they're pretty tricky to walk in and I was walking down the sidewalk once and stepped in a crack and came really close to just biffing it right on the sidewalk. Luckily, I was with someone and they kind of grabbed me. But I still have them. I still like them for certain occasions. And of course, I've got my leopard skin boots. for my Halloween costume last year. Hopefully you know who I am. If not, well, that don't impress me much. Here's another pair that I've gotten recently. These are super fun and fringy. Actually, Nikki found these and they were too big for her, so I had to steal them away.
definitely ones I want to bring dancing sometime. Um, the heel is a little big for dancing and a little pointy, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Oh, what the hell? Not again. Well, I've worn these boots several times, actually. They're kind of nice boots. The leather soles and the leather upper is nice. The insides are like trash, so I think I kind of got ripped off on these. They're not as nice as they seemed at first, but actually they worked out fine as long as you don't look at the insides. Um, I've worn them several times. Um, I've gone to like those conventions, those cross-dressing or transgender conventions. And at the end of the convention, they always have like their big ball or whatever, fancy dinner. And a couple of times my friend Donna Kelly and I, we would switch out of our fancy dresses at the end. And when the dancing came on, we would slip on our cowgirl boots. And because these boots look nice, even with a cocktail dress. And then we would dance in our, in our boots and dresses. So these are fun boots and they actually go really well with this dress. Okay, well, I'm sick of changing outfits, so I'm just gonna go through the little last few pairs that I have. I've got these kind of scrunchy um, winter boots, I think. I mean, they're not like snow boots, but they kind of remind me of like sweater and jeans type of boots. Um, not really in style right now, but they're still pretty cute. Another winter boot, just your typical low heel riding boot. I've got these in black and I had some in brown I just, just recently got rid of. Um, they didn't fit me very well anyway. But I've worn these out several times. Nothing fancy, just something more practical for wearing when you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. Now, these are corral boots as well. Really super nice leather, and I love how tall they are. I've worn these out dancing a few times, and they really have a really cool, cute cowgirl look. And like I said, the leather is so so soft and, and perfect. Um, I bought these um, on layout line secondhand, and they're very well broken in. So I got quite a discount on them because there is some, um, I wouldn't say damage to them, but definitely some wear to them. But that makes them really comfortable. Maybe my favorite pair of boots, other than the sparkly ones. Well, I went ahead and changed again because these next ones are much better with jeans. I love how these are kind of nice and snug around the calf, but still have a little bit of a heel that's, well, significant heel. So they definitely have some fashion to them. Um, the heel is kind of chunky, so it's easier to walk. Um, so I've worn these a lot. I really like these a lot. Now, these are similar to those last ones, but the heel is taller, so probably too tall to really wear comfortably for a long time. I got these when I was looking for boots to do that um, biker chick look that I tried out a little while ago, a couple of years ago. Anyway, that was a fun video. Maybe I'll post a link to that. Um, but the same thing, kind of a, a tighter cap and a chunkier heel. And these you've probably seen before. I've worn them for like photo shoots. The heel is way too tall and spiky to really wear practically, but they're pretty fun looking. I've had these a while too. Now these are a really fun boot. I haven't actually worn them out in public anywhere. I think their heel is a little taller than I would like. Um, I almost bought ones just like this, um, brand new in the store one time when I was shopping. Um, but then wound up finding them like a month later at a thrift store. So win-win.
Um, for Halloween several years ago, there was a girl that I knew that was had these moccasins like these, these fringy moccasins that she would wear dancing all the time. So I went dressed as her, and it was really, really, I thought I looked really cute, and um, unfortunately she wasn't there that night, so um, some people got the joke, other people, um, I don't know. It was during COVID, not many people were there anyway. But I still like them, I still probably will wear them dancing sometime because they're, they're moccasins, they're really easy to dance in. But I haven't recently. Two more pair, I'm not even gonna bother to put them on because I'm exhausted, like sweating from changing so many times. I've got these silly football boots. I don't know why these were ever invented, but I bought them for like $4 at a thrift store. And then I got these for in case I wanted to do, um, for next time I do a Supergirl costume again. Um, Though I don't know, I'm not sure if that'll ever happen again. Uh, I've got like two other pairs, two, three other pairs that I'm not even gonna get out of the closet. They're just really boring. Um, black boots, booties, whatever. Um, anyway, that's, that's my collection. It's a lot of boots. And I'm at the point now where my closet is full. So any new boots that I get means I've gotta get rid of a few. Um, so, that's okay. It's nice to turn things over once in a while, get rid of stuff that you're not using and replace it with something you might use. Well, hope you have a good weekend, everybody.